गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग होप एवरी वन इज डूइंग वेल थैंक्स फॉर ज्वाइनिंग द सेशन टूडे एंड टूडे इज टॉपिक वुड बी डी एन एस नेम रेजोल्यूशन प्रोसेस ओवर द इंटरनेट सो लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक्स ऑफ डोमी नेमिंग सिस्टम आई वोट बी से ड्राइविंग इन टू डी एन एस जस्ट द बेसिक्स सो फर्स्ट विल अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज डी एन एस देन विल अंडरस्टैंड वाई वी require dns in first place and then we'll understand the name resolution process over the internet so let us dive in so what exactly is dns so again dns is a service which resolves host names to corresponding ip address so what is it all about so the domain naming system or dns maps the name people used to locate a website to the corresponding ip addresses of that particular website let's say for example if someone is typing cnn.com into a browser a server behind the scene maps that name to the corresponding ip address so the ip address looks say somewhat like this the structure of the ip address might be somewhat like this say 151.101.71.5 So this is what is DNS in a nutshell. Okay, this is not even near what DNS is. So let us understand why. Uh, say why we require DNS. So as a human being, we find it very say uh, difficult to remember numbers. We find it easier to remember names over numbers. But computer networks works on numbers and not names. so we don't remember ip addresses or numbers of the web websites instead we remember we remember names such as let's say google.com gmail cnn microsoft.com so we need a uh, a mechanism to map these numbers with the website names now the dns a domain naming system is that mechanism so the dns is a service which maps website to corresponding ip address and that's why we require dns now let us dive into the name resolution process over the internet let's say i am on a, a laptop or any any device which is on the internet let's say your smartphone your laptop your tablet it can be anything and the ip address of my device is 192.168.100.20 and the preferred dns is 8.8.8.8 now i open up the browser and type in www.cnn.com now uh, a browser is a web client now you don't know what cnn.com is it requires the ip address of cnn.com it's it's a web server www means it's world wide web it's on the internet so here our dns client service kicks in and the dns client service is responsible to get the ip address of cnn.com so first the dns client service will try to search the ip address or locate the ip address of cnn.com in the local dns cache now if the answer is no over there then it will look into the hosts file which is present on every windows computer and if the dns client is not able to find the ip address of cnn.com in the host file then it will contact the preferred dns that is 8.8.8.8 so it will ask say please give me the ip address of cnn.com so the preferred dns is again it's not an authoritative say dns server for cnn.com so even the the preferred dns server he also don't know the ip address of cnn.com so we have something called as root dns servers or they are called as root hints there are only 13 root servers in the world okay and they are represented by a dot 
in the DNS hierarchy. So this preferred DNS will contact or will talk with or will ask the IP address of CNN.com to the root DNS servers. Now again root DNS servers are not authoritative DNS servers for CNN.com either. Now, but they know the IP address of .com, DNS servers, .edu, .net. So these are the first level DNS servers. So what this root DNS servers will do is they will hand over the IP address of .com DNS server to our preferred DNS server. Now the preferred DNS server will again ask the same question to .com DNS server. What is the IP address of CNN.com or I want the IP address of CNN.com. Now again the .com DNS server is not an authoritative DNS server for CNN.com. Okay, he, he don't know the IP address of the web server named CNN.com but instead the .com DNS server knows the IP address of CNN.com's DNS server that is 102.89.12.4. So the .com DNS server will hand over the same that is 102.89.12.4 to the preferred DNS. Now the preferred DNS will then talk with the CNN.com's DNS server that okay could you please give me the IP address of CNN.com now this CNN.com DNS server is the authoritative DNS server for CNN.com domain so he says okay perfect I'm the right person you, you have reached the right person so the there's a web server CNN.com and the IP address is 107.90.95.134 so this CNN.com's DNS server will hand over the IP address 107 dot 90 dot 95 dot say 134 to our preferred DNS then the preferred DNS will hand over the same IP address to the uh, say DNS client and the browser and after that there will be a secured communication happening between the web browser and the say web server so I'll be able to see the CNN.com web page after that so I hope you understood the background what exactly happens when we type in any website. So when we type in any website, this is what happens at the back end. Okay, so it goes to root hints, then it goes to say com, edu, net, whatever, and then it goes to the authoritative DNS server, and then the name resolution happens at the back like this. So this happens in a split of a second so this is so fast on the internet so hope you have enjoyed today's session again i would like to thank everyone for taking time and uh, dropping on this channel to watch this dns name resolution video if you think this channel is helping you to learn anything new please subscribe and share this video with your technical community and uh, thank you again for dropping in and watching this video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.